Hello everybody and welcome back to Animal Crossing. Today is day 7, I believe, so that's pretty cool. We don't have any specific plans for today, we're just gonna go with the flow. It is Monday, I'm actually recording this though on Sunday. So it's funny, here on Sunday, this morning I finished editing the video that went out Sunday early afternoon, which was actually Saturday's video that I recorded Saturday night. So I recorded a video Saturday night, which is about 24 hours ago for me now. Then I edited it this morning. Then later on in the day, I made another video. Then I also edited that video and I put that video out. And then I did the special video where I went to Red's Emporium and edited that and put that out. And now I'm recording the Monday video and this is all on the same day. So <laughs> that was probably a little bit confusing and you didn't need to hear all that, but you heard it anyway. So do with that what you will. Uh, let's uh, check our mail here. That's a lot of mail. Oh, one of them's from home. Okay, interesting. So first we'll read the HRA one. Oh wow, we went up a lot. George, your current layout earns 6,850 points. If we may say so, your house is quite spacious. It's up to you whether you expand it again. September 30th, 2024. This is Happy Room Academy. All right, cool. All right, then we'll do the museum ones. The esteemed George, the fossil you recently sent us is the skull of a vicious T-Rex, and the teeth are still sharp. We return this fine specimen to you and eagerly await future submissions. Now that's really cool because we got a T-Rex tail, like, yesterday or two days ago or something? I don't know. Anyway, that's, my, my timeline's all messed up here because I've been recording in advance and stuff. But we, we got a T-Rex tail recently, so now all we need is the torso. So that's really good news. And it's a new fossil. Next up, we have a Triceratops skull. So that's actually kind of uh, the same deal, because we have a Triceratops tail as well. So that's also really good. And then the final one, a dinosaur egg. And that's also new. So that's amazing. I'm so happy with, my f with the fossils from today. And now we have a unique letter that we don't normally get from home. My dear George, take care of this sapling I grew for you, and it will bring you fortune. I don't know what'll happen if you treat it like that tree you didn't water. Miss Fortune? Give it love, Mom. Oh, it's a bonsai tree. That's so cool. Okay. Alright, let's go uh, check that out. Oh, it's not really a bonsai tree, but it's kind of nice. Alright. Good morning, Pom Pom. Hey there, sunshine. Morning. Let's go out there and totally make the most of the day, okay, Ra Ra? Anyway, what's up, Ra Ra? Let's chat. George, have you been paying your loan back, Ra Ra? Yes. Good for you. That just, that's just common sense, of course. Tom Nook doesn't force you to shop there, but a lot of us, well, we look out for his best interests, Ra Ra. But you know what? If you finish paying off your house and upgrade to the biggest house you can get, you'll receive some sort of commemorative gift that stays in front of the train station for all to see. Oh, someday I hope to have something like that for myself, Ra Ra. That's in reference to something... Should I spoil it? I'll spoil it. You guys won't even remember if you're someone who's never played this game. Uh, it's a golden statue you get in front of the train station. I've never gotten it before, but it'd be so cool. Maybe we'll get there in this series, you never know. Oh, shoot. I'm not sure if we have that. Or, you know what, yeah, I think that's just a locust, right? I think it's been a few days since I played during the day and while it wasn't raining, so... Yeah, so we we've caught one of them before. Alright, here in the dump we've got two shirts, a trendy top, and a jungle camo. That's, uh, interesting. I'm not sure if I like it or not. And then the jungle camo. I think I actually kind of do like the camo. I think I'm going to keep the camo and not the trendy one. But the trendy one's not terrible. It's all right. Morning, Huck. Hey, morning, George. You look like you're full of your usual morning pap, Hopper. Man, if only I had one iota of your pizzazz. So, what do you need, Hopper? I'm bored. Hey, George, do you have a Game Boy Advance? <laughs> I do, but I don't have a link cable. And also, this is a Zelfin emulator. I'm not sure how you can do that. That's cool. I heard a rumor that if you take a Game Boy Advance and connect it to a Nintendo GameCube and then go to the dock, you can ride on a boat. A boat, I tell you. A boat. I want to go for a boat ride, Hopper. I want to lie back and let my fingers dangle in the water. Oh yeah, you'll need a Nintendo GameCube Game Boy Advance cable to do it. That's not a problem, right? I'm actually not sure. Can you do that? I don't know. I'm not sure how to do that. There might be a way to do that, though. I'll look into it. Through Dolphin Emulator. I'll look into it. 
Alright, we got a gyroid. Hello, Mitzi. Oh my, George. How nice of you to come and talk to me. You're such a sweetheart, Ra Ra. From now on, when you see me walking around, be sure to call out to me, okay? You promise? So tell me, George, what did you want, Ra Ra? Care to chat? I guess the sunny weather doesn't really matter to people who work at night. George, you're making sure to get out and about each and every day, right, Ra Ra? Yeah, I've been here every day. I'm glad it's not raining again. That was kind of getting old, wasn't it? Olivia, is she home? Nope, she's here. Okay, okay, Per, I hear you. But I beg of you, could you please slow lower your voice just a smidgen? I didn't sleep well last night, and I have a rather splitting headache, Per. I must start sleeping better. Lack of sleep is the worst enemy of beautiful skin, Per. Enough idle chit chat. Did you need something for me, Per? Let's chat. Could I ask you for some advice? I'm thinking about going on a picnic with my boyfriend next week, and I thought I'd bring some brownies and iced coffee with us. What do you think? Is that a good combination, Per? Do as you like. You meanie! You're only acting <laughs> so casual because you're jealous, Per. Was that like... I didn't realize that was being mean. I was just saying. So why don't you just run along and play your childish games, you big baby? Oh, that's right. Because no one wants to play with you. I forgot, Per. Dang, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? I'm getting bullied, guys, by an Animal Crossing villager. Morning, Daisy. Oh my, George. How nice of you to come and talk to me. You're such a sweetheart, Bow Wow. From now on, when you see me walking around, be sure to call out to me, okay? You promise? So, you must have had some reason for coming to see me, right, Bow Wow? Let's talk. Hey, is that Triceratops skull yours, George? Oh, you have to sell it to me. I'll give you 3,000 bells right now. Come on, I really, really want that Triceratops skull, Bow Wow. No way. Right, well, I guess I know not to ask you for a favor ever again, Bow Wow. Sorry I bothered you, Bow Wow. Don't get angry about it, jeez. Hey there, sunshine. Morning. Let's go out there and totally make the most of the day, okay, y'all? So, what's going on, y'all? Care to chat? Did you know that a lot of romances begin in September? I'll bet you didn't, y'all. Really? See? I knew that would get your attention, y'all. So, do you want me to tell you why that is? Any tips? Oh, you want me to tell you? To tell you the truth, I have no idea. I was hoping you could tell me. If you ever figure it out, be sure to tell me, y'all. Oh my gosh, Daisy, stop being so upset about it. It's not that big a deal. All over a, a fossil. Like, come on. Calm down. Hello there, Cobb. Yo, good morning. Today I'm gonna grab life by the horns, hot dog. I'm gonna give it my all. George, you give it your all too, alright? Work it, hot dog. Oh yeah. Anywho, you probably want something, don't you? So what is it, hot dog? I'm bored. Hey, George, isn't it beautiful outside, hot dog? Hey, I've been thinking... I'm not sure the way I talk is very popular with the ladies. George, I need you to come up with some new, with some hip new slang. Something I can say proudly, hot dog. Maybe we get him to advertise for us. Alright, so how do I sound now? Subscribe! Hey, not too bad. Yo, subscribe! <laughs> oh, that's amazing, I love that. I love that so much. Everybody, you heard Cobb, okay? Yo, subscribe. Hey, so what can I do for you, George? Talk to me. Hey, let me see that. You've got to give me your Tricera skull. Why does everyone want my Tricera skull? You're not getting it, Cobb. I'll trade you for it. How's that sound, subscribe? I really want that thing, so name your price. Just tell me what you want, and it's all yours. No. Oh, come on. Don't be like that, George. Really? What do you want? Nothing. Dang it, George. If it's so darn important to you, then why are you carrying it around like that? See? And he doesn't get mad about it. You see? That's the difference between them two. He doesn't get mad about it. He's like, oh well, whatever will I do. Boo-hoo, better luck next time. Whereas freaking uh, Daisy over there, getting all upset. Little crybaby. Hey, what's with you? You're just bouncing off the walls this morning, huh? What a wacko you are. Gar har 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 har. Hey, why are you even talking to me, hot dog? Entertain me. It's time to play an exciting game of win some free junk from Chief, hot dog. Is this like a daily thing? Jeez. Alright, George. All you have to do is pick right, left, or center, and I'll give you that item. Really? That's all it takes to win a great prize. It's a pretty easy game. Go ahead and take your pick. Middle. Is that your final answer? Let's see. Ta-da! It's a pitfall. wah ha ha You did it, George. You won big time. Just bury this somewhere, then sit back and wait for some real comedy. But don't even think about using it on me. 
Remember, I'm the one who gave it to you, hot dog. We got a pitfall trap, huh? Oh, he said it's a pitfall. It's not a pitfall. It's a Mr. Flamingo. Did he say the wrong dialogue? I'm so confused. He he told us it was a pitfall, but it's actually a flamingo. I don't know. That's weird. Is that new? Yeah, it's a freshwater goby. Nice. That puts us at 14 of 40 fish, which is 7 out of 20, which is 35%. 35% of the fish done, guys. That's a pretty good stat. That's more than a third. Oh, it's the raffle. Today is a raffle day, hmm? I'm not selling anything. You must return tomorrow if you wish to shop. Does that mean I can't sell either? Oh shoot, I can't sell. That kind of sucks actually, because that means we can't sell anything today. What are we gonna do about that? I don't know. That's not good. Oh. Hey, got him. I caught a tiger swallowtail butterfly. Those wings are beautiful. Hey, another gyroid. Yeah, this raffle is actually really bad news for us. Because it means we can't sell anything, it means we can't buy any paper, so we can't mail out our letters with fossils in them. And we don't even have enough raffle tickets to participate in the raffle, so there's there's nothing positive about it. It's actually a really bad situation we're in. Oh, George, it's very nice to see you. I'm busy as usual, but I'm sure you can see that without me having to point it out to you. Oh, no. No, I'm not creating anything of my own. I wish. I'm just making all the usual stuff like I'm supposed to. All of these are going straight to Tom Nook's shop. The problem is he sells them so cheap. It doesn't matter how much I work. We just don't make much money. It may seem innocent, but that Nook is one ruthless business raccoon, Teehee. Oh, well. That's business. Aw, sis. Don't say stuff like that. You sound like you're sitting on your quills wrong or something. Seriously, I don't like it when you go off on Nook like that. He does pay us, really, he does. It's not my fault if old Nook gets mad again because of your yapping about money. Ahaha, ha, ha. really, that's scary. All right, police station. Oh, uh, sure, yes. Every item here is lost. I mean, we don't know who owns them, the items. You can take them, you can take anything, I think. Oh, that's a ranch wall, I think. So would that be yours? That's right. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. You can take it, of course. That's fine. Go ahead. Shouldn't be a problem, I think. Thanks for stopping by. Well, firstly, we have a freshwater goby. Whew, indeed. Woohoo. A freshwater goby, I believe. This is one of those fish that seem to mysteriously disappear. Alright, one of those. Alright, next up we have a tiger butterfly. Ah, who? Yes, indeed. That's a tiger butterfly, if I'm not utterly mistaken. Alright, next up we have the T-Rex skull. Who? Who, I say? A T-Rex skull. The day the remaining pieces of our prehistoric puzzle are found will be a joyous one indeed. Good luck to you. And Tricera skull. Who? Who, I say? A Tricera skull. The day the remaining pieces of our prehistoric puzzle are found will be a joyous one indeed. Good luck to you. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. Might there be anything else you wish to donate? Oh, yeah. Alright, last thing, we have a dinosaur egg. Who, I say. Who upon who? A fossilized egg. Excellent. I must apologize for that atrocious pun. Oh, it's egg-cellent. Okay. I must apologize for that atrocious pun. So sorry. I just got carried away in my egg-citement, eh what? Because this is a grade A specimen. Ho ho ho. Now, I hate to admit this, but I cannot identify the species of dinosaur that produced this particular egg. I can envision attaching, though. And from the shards, a new life slowly emerging. A miracle of flesh and bone. Who? The wonder of it all. The drama. The spectacle. The ebb and flow. The grass and grit. Life, I say. Life. Who? Mercy. Who am I indeed? I must apologize profusely. I... I was lost in the moment. My beak flaps on its own. Alright. Your support is greatly appreciated. Truly it is. I earnestly hope we can count on your continued patronage. Alright, so looking at the dinosaur exhibit... You can see here we have the Apato, that's one third done. As far as the front things, we're missing all but one. We've got most of them now. On this one, we've got one, the Stegosaurus. On this one, we've got two of three, the T-Rex. And on this one, we have two of three, on the Triceratops. So that's pretty cool. 
Obviously, in the painting exhibit, we only have one of 15. In the bugs, you know, it's starting to fill up a little more. It's not as easy to tell how filled up it's getting, but, you know, it's more so than before. It's much easier for the bugs to see in here. See, we have 11 out of 40, which is, uh, is it? Like 27.5%, I think. Yeah, 27.5% on the bugs. And then on the fish, I don't remember what we calculated earlier. 14 out of 40, 7 out of 20, which is 35%. 35% and then 27.5% on the insects. Okay, so 10 out of 25, which is 40%. That's what it is, it's 40%. So 40%, like 6 or 7%. Like, 27.5, and then, like, 35. Not terrible. I'm thinking this is going to be another short episode because, honestly, there's so little I can do if Nook's not open. I can't send out my mail. I can't sell my stuff. I can't buy anything new. Like, there's so many things I can't do with Nook being closed. Let's talk to Lulu. Good morning again, y'all. Anyway, what's up, y'all? George, have you been paying your loan back, y'all? Yes. Good for you. That's just common sense, of course. Tom Nook doesn't force you to shop there, but a lot of us, well, we look out for his best interests, y'all. But you know what? If you finish paying off your house and upgrade to the biggest house, you can get the... You'll receive some sort of commemorative gift that stays in front of the train station for all to see. Oh, someday I hope to have something like that for myself, y'all. Has this house always been here? Iggy? Who's Iggy? Is he in here? Or she? Or... No. Interesting. So we've got a mystery villager... Well, maybe we'll be on the lookout then. Why can't I find the bell rock today? I feel like I've hit just about every rock. Oh, shoot. No! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Bro, that's so terrible. I messed up the bell rock, what the heck? We only got 1,300 from that, that was terrible. I'm trying to think what else I could even do today. Because the recording's only 37 minutes, which means the video will probably be like 15. It seems crazy to put out like a 15 minute video, but that might be the solution. I don't really know what else to do. I mean, seriously, like, what do we... Red? Red's still here? Aha! Well, if it isn't my very best customer. I wanted to congratulate you on your purchase of a fine NES. Quite an eye you've got. What do you say, my friend? Ready for another shopping extravaganza? Your wallet may be a little lighter, but your purchases will last a lifetime. Ah yes, my shop is is the oasis at which parched souls drink from the well of dreams. Come on in. Hee hee hee. I didn't realize he would be still here. I thought he'd leave. Yeah, it's the same stuff from yesterday. Yeah, I don't I don't want any of that. I'm done. Unless does he stay until I buy everything? Uh, no, surely that'd be stupid. Okay, there is nothing for me to do. Oh wow! Hi, hello. You must be Iggy. Yeah, Iggy. Hey, good morning. And while I'm at it, great to meet you, Pally. Smell that fresh air. They call me Iggy. You are... George, eh? It's a pleasure, George. Nice, we have a new villager. Alright, everyone. Well, honestly, you know, I'm completely struggling for things to do today. Because I can't pick up very many things. I can't sell things. I can't send out my fossils. I can't do any of these things. Because frickin' Nook decided today was the day to have a raffle, so... Yeah, I don't really know what to do about that. Let's look at this, uh, ranch wall. It's ugly, let's not use that. I was gonna keep this shirt, though. And then what was in here? Fossil. Fossil. Oh, a gyroid, okay. Alright, we have three September tickets. I don't think that's enough. I think you need five to enter. But we're gonna take them over and just check. Maybe there's something we can do with them. Or he'll give us, like, a few bells back or something. I doubt it, though. You probably need all five, and you probably don't get anything otherwise. It's worth checking, though. Welcome, welcome. It's your lucky day, hmm? You may give it a spin if you've got raffle tickets. You'd like to give it a try? I'll do it. Yes, good. All right, then. Here we go. One spin per five raffle tickets. Oh, no. How unfortunate. You don't have five raffle tickets with you. I just can't let you do this without five raffle tickets. You do understand, yes? I'm terribly sorry. Yeah, we only have three. All right, well... That sucks then, I guess. Well, yeah, there's really nothing I can do then. I mean, there's literally nothing I can do. Thanks all for watching, I suppose. Um, I know this is going to be a very short video and pretty uneventful, but I, I guess that's what happens when you play something like Animal Crossing, especially an old one. 
every day. There's going to be days where something comes up and you just can't do anything. And I've still got to upload because, you know, the whole point was to do it daily. We'll make, we'll make this a short video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, we can do a little better tomorrow. There'll be new fish and stuff to catch tomorrow because it'll be October. And who knows, maybe they'll, maybe the ground will be orange. Because I've seen on the title screen, sometimes the ground and trees and stuff turn orange. And I'm like, oh, I guess that's what it looks like in fall. But it is fall right now. Fall started like 10 days ago or something. And it's still green out. So maybe tomorrow is the day when it turns orange. We'll see. We'll find out tomorrow. Anyways, again, thanks for watching. Subscribe if, if you want to continue to see Animal Crossing stuff. Like the video if you, well, liked the video. And yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.